Blah. Uh, so I flew around for a bit, uh, and the only places that I could find that were new are this cave right here and Innsmouth, which is where we're supposed to be going. Uh, and actually I'm going to go to Innsmouth and then come back to this cave because I went in there once and it seemed kind of hard. Also the overworld enemies are pretty tough right now. So... Teleport to Miskit or Dunwich, either one. Uh... And go to Innsmouth. Ah, Innsmouth. Home away from home, where everyone is rude and surly all the time. It's good to be back. It's getting late. We should find a place to stay. Good thinking. No visit to Innsmouth would be complete without a stay at the Innsmouth Inn. To sleep! Ooh, what? What was that? To sleep! Close enough. Ah. For the longest time, this town was called Colt Town. The connection between Colt Town and Innsmouth was obvious, but I didn't stumble upon it until after we had already been working on the game for several months. Using Innsmouth let us do a parody of the famous inn scene in the shadow over Innsmouth, so that's a plus as well. Great. This is Innsmouth. We don't take kindly to strangers here. Finish your business quickly and leave. Hey, and here's the place I wanted to go. <laughs> Notice what the people look like in this town, too. Something fishy going on around here. Uh, I don't normally sell to outsiders, but you've got a familiar look to you. Sure. So, almost as good as my physical sword and my magical sword, as well as dark plus 50. DK water? Is it supposed to be dark water? Oh, and he only sells weapons. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Oh, uh, I also looked at Ember a little bit. He's appears to be a powerful fighter. He's only got two abilities, Smash and Flame Breath. Uh, well, he's a better wizard than Cthulhu. Oh yes, and he's the same level as everybody except Daker, so I guess I was running around at the right level in there. Um... Oh wow. He's got the highest vitality of anyone in my party. So he's just a powerhouse. Anyway, um Oh yes, and uh equipment. That character cannot change their equipment. He is equipped with claws and no armor. Uh, anyway, let's buy the Death Sword, because that looks good. Fire added to attack. Uh, that looks good. That looks good. That looks fantastic. And I might actually... No, I think I can afford all of those. Just bear. Oh, actually. I'm just shy of being able to afford those, but I'll be able to sell some stuff too, so. That reduces his agility, but increases his vitality and will, so yeah. Plague Tome. Well, that will definitely be useful at some point. Like when I'm using her Dark Kiss ability.
And finally, the one I can't buy. But I will be purchasing it. As soon as I sell something I don't want. Uh, what's he currently equipped with? That. I want him to be equipped with that. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording pretty soon here. As soon as I sell this and buy the, uh, the other thing, then I'm gonna mess with my equipment. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of that. Buy the last piece of equipment. Oh. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna equip everybody. Ugh. That was annoying. There's so many things that add like 50% to a certain element, and I'm like, do I sell it? Do I keep it? I don't know. But anyway, I'll show you what I have equipped. Death Sword. Power Tunic. Uh, Dark Water Trident. Heroin Dress. Uh, Pure Blade and... Energy heal, hilt, giant whip, and plague comb. I really, I don't know. The her windy tomb was one of the worst ones. That I one of the ones that I already regret getting rid of. Um, Pause has the rocket claw and the force field that he's had for the whole game. Uh, holy staff and elder robe. And, yeah. Speaking of, yeah. Let's uh, change up the party and see what Ember does. Let's go with that. Now, let me... Who hasn't been in the party for a while? I know Paws hasn't, and obviously Ember has never been in the party. Yeah, let's put Dagger in. See how he combines with a demon dragon. And go look around. What to expect when you're mutating into a fishman. Chapter 1, Early Warning Signs. Chapter 29, Swimming Among the Other Demons in Real Ye. Alrighty. Get out. Okay. Now what? Oh. She, she didn't say stay out, but I, I think that was implied. Door's locked. You can hear a scratching sound inside the building as if a wild animal was trying to get out. Awesome. Same thing. Let's go in here. Nice. I got a one up. And out here. The inn. I'm thinking I might want to save that for later. What about... Oh. I accidentally ended up in the inn anyway. The door is the same thing. It's just a junk door. Nothing more. Find a note hidden between the books. Unfortunately, the note was written by one of the professors at the Miskatonic University, so the handwriting is so poor that you cannot make anything out other than help, and they are going to eat me. There. Alright. Whoa. She knows who I am. Why, if it isn't Lord Cthulhu, let me show you to your room. Thank you. Night falls on Innsmouth. And yes, I obviously decided to stay the night anyway. Cthulhu and his party are getting some much needed rest when suddenly the villagers attack. Thwack. Idiots, I was having a dream about taking over the world. The villagers have been thoroughly thwacked. How dare you break into my room? You're only supposed to do that with outsiders. 
Ooh. My apologies, Lord Cthulhu, but Lord Dagon told us to attack everyone who came to Innsmouth, even your lordship. Dagon is trying to take over my cult? The nerve! I'd better pay old Dagon a little visit. To the Marsh Gold Foundry. The what? To the Marsh Gold Foundry. Okay. To the Foundry! Um, where's that? Lord Dagon can be found in the deepest part of the factory in the east part of town. I'll tell the guards to get out of your way. Oh, okay. That would be over here. I didn't even notice there was an east part of town. And I missed talking to the guards. Apparently. Hmm. I did lo I did save, so let me... I feel like that might be an interesting cover. I did save after messing with my. Okay. Whew. Uh, there was a one up in here. Let me grab that. And. More of that. Yay. Through the wall. You got a smelly fish. You resist its nauseating stench. Everyone's will goes up by 10 points. Oops. This. Ah! So that's why this room smells so foul. Why? Why? Tell me! I keep trying to walk onto those, but they're not accessible. Uh. Hmm. This would be the guard that needs to get out of my way. The Marsh Foundry is off limits to outsiders, but why don't you go visit the lo lovely Innsmouth Inn? He he he. Oh, sounds legit. Let's go visit the inn then. I'm sure we won't get attacked or anything. Like that. <laughs> Sorry for trying to kill you earlier, Lord Cthulhu. Eh, you know. Happens all the time. We're cool. I've already... Oh yeah, it's about the fit. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go to that other cave. Uh... Let's take the fast route. Teleport to Al Hazard. Somewhere right around here. Oh! Cthulhu Saves the World was originally intended to be a quick little game to help us gain more experience before working on a bigger, more ambitious project. Yeah, that didn't work out. Cthulhu Saves the World ended up taking nearly three times as long as to create as our first RPG did. Apparently, Breath of Death is long. Hmm. A dragon? A, a Negany? Eats dragon slayers for breakfast. Purer evil? And Bane of Undead Heroes everywhere. See what we got here. Uh. Well, hell, I'll just kill that. Now I haven't used you in ages. Let's see what you got. Sanity switch to targets one enemy power six ninety one. Target one group. Target one ally. Target one group. Target all allies. Increase strength. Let's do that. Sounds like fun. Target one enemy for lots of damage, or all enemies for 576. That 
he doesn't seem very useful actually. I'm curious whether that counts as a magic attack or a physical attack. Because I'm going to be leveling up him up pretty soon. Probably after this fight. Alright. Oh, and I haven't even looked at the Unites. Rampage. Power 1207. That doesn't seem particularly useful. You know what? Let's do it. Oh, but I still need to see what uh, other people do with him. Great and, s Great and small. Target self, pause, strength plus 50, ember hits plus 1. Nice. And what about you? Deuces resists to holy and dark. Alright. Let's have fun with Rampage. Unstable form. Mm. Let's cast Regen. What? Why did most of those hits go on something that... Oh boy. <sighs> okay. You attack. You smash. And... Would that revive someone? No, not that one. That one will. Okay, so this party isn't doing so hot. Uh, hmm. Right. Well. He's going to lose. Uh, oh! Sure, why not? Except I still think I'm going to lose. Uh... Glass. No... Void, what's that do? Let's go with... Pierce on the dragon, tech, meow, magic, nope, tech, flame breath, uh, where'd it go, regen all. Decisive chop, were they using that before? I don't know. Damn it, someone's dead already. Or, Cthulhu's dead already. Uh, full heal. No, 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 no. Okay, that's right. Damn it! This isn't. Nope. Awesome. Okay, different party. I don't really like Ember, but I'm going to put him in the party for the, uh... In order to check out his combos. I had Daker and Pause. In the last one, so let's go with October. 
and Umi.